What's up, class of 99ers? We're gonna party together? Hell yeah. Just like old times. Let's make this reunion our bitch. Cheers. Can I tell you how exciting it is to see all you kids back in town? You know, Dad, it's been three years. Do you think maybe it's time for you to get back out there? Have a shot. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. I don't think so, Stephen. I'm not, uh... Drink it. Drink no, it. No, no, drink no, it. I drink can't. it. Drink I... it. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. And first chair is broken. Holy shit. I am Mike. I'm Kat. I'm Jay. And today we're re reuniting to review American Reunion. We're all together what again. smell? Uh, all three of us. No, I don't smell. Uh, it smells like mothballs. So, this movie is a comedy. Durr. What movie, genre is Durr under? No. <laughs> this is a long weekend. It's going to be their high school reunion and they figured let's hang out for the whole weekend us boys and you know think about old old times mm. and and have a gay old time. Oh Seems. my god, you're fucking gay. <laughs> that was from you're referring to the first movie. I see you did there. Second one. That's the first yeah. first First in the shower. So I would suggest, honestly, before seeing this movie, potentially rewatching the first and second, just because there are some jokes that I feel would probably be funnier if you had just watched that, like the MILF guys. The yeah. entire cast is back. We got Jason Biggs back. Stifler yeah. is back. Oz. Oz. He was gone. He wasn't there for the wedding. Yeah, he wasn't there for the He no. missed the wedding. They comment on that, though. He's a celebrity now. He's a sportscaster, and people know him as a uh, dancer with the stars. Uh -huh. Celeb. Mina Sorvini. Sorv I never know how to say her name. Someone help me. Here. She's finally back. She does something for him. Tara back. Reed's back. She stopped snorting coke she for five minutes. She seems like she has some brain damage, though. So what, what happens in this? They just get together, and you know it's like a It's a high time. school reunion. I know, and that's it. Yeah. They just go nuts. Well, the finale is a high school reunion. But it's a it's a long weekend, so they, yeah. yeah, they start by drinking in a bar, have a whole weekend of realizing that they're no longer the teenagers, that they are in fact the adults. Oh. Yet finding out that they're still the teenagers in some ways. Now what's fun is you see them again, you see all the characters that you know you grown up, and it's for our generation. Like it is class of '99. Yeah, we, it came we out were, a decade ago. Right? You were, we were class of like 2000. You're class of 2010 because you're super young. You kind of see the jokes coming. They're kind of at this point, it's too. Predictable. It's too good. It's way too predictable. Too you're like, what oh, happens look. with the Shermanator? Is it good? No. Uh, he, he's like there, like for five minutes. What about Elizabeth? Uh, whatever. Did you end up with her? One minute. She was there. One Did minute. They end up together. She and Elizabeth. Oh yeah, yeah. She was in. I love that they No, because it was the whole issue now is about marriage and about moving on, having children, and you know, uh, Jim. As you know, you'll never. I never will, because I'm smart, Jim. And he, you know, he's going to, he's masturbating, he's watching porn, oh, what's going to happen? Oh, someone's going to walk in, catch him, and, you know, Obviously. it unfolds from there, right? Obviously. So, yes, it's funny, but if you've seen any of the other American movies, you kind of see this stuff coming from a mile but away. But that's what you're expecting. You're not expecting there to be a bunch of new jokes. You're coming to, to the reunion to revisit those right, jokes. Right, but because the characters have matured and the audience has matured, I expected a smarter comedy. That's have what the my... characters matured? Stifler is still no, Stifler is still Stifler, but the other characters okay. matured, right? Still like dick and shit and fart jokes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Where I thought I would be a little bit smarter with that, but it Sounds wasn't. like our show. I feel like they yeah. could do that though. If they did that, then people would show up not, you know, expecting one. You still people. have the dumbass character Stifler who can do the dick and yeah, fart jokes. Yeah, and then jokes. you think they should then, get it. I understand. Yeah. Well, Eugene Levy and Jim, I think, were great. And Jim's dad and you Stifler's like mom are hilarious together. For me, the funniest. Yeah, and st me. remember to stay after the credits, because that's probably one of the funnier scenes. Oh. Them. Oh my god. Did you know what happened to this while you were away? What did you guys think? Nothing. Nothing. So what did you guys think of the film? I didn't see it because I wasn't. So what do you think of it? You didn't see it because you wasn't? It was Sarah's birthday. Happy birthday, Sarah. <laughs> You're an asshole. You don't say happy birthday. Check her Facebook wall, asshole. I know. We did. That's the cheapest way to say a happy birthday to somebody. What I didn't like was some of the jokes were old, like you were saying. However, I mean, what are you expecting, really, in a movie like this? Aren't you aren't you expecting to have those same old jokes, but with a slightly different twist? Which is pretty much what they did. It's exactly what you're expecting it to be. You're right. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah. But, you know, little give us a little bit more. You know, sometimes the jokes didn't pay off, and because they're so uh, predictable, you're like, that's, that's funny. Well, what did you expect? I don't know. I wanted to be surprised. Oh. <laughs> Where did it go? I don't know. My bad. Great. I could, <laughs> I could make a movie really great. You want to be surprised, right? Film doesn't have to be surprising to be good. <laughs> In my opinion, it does. Well, okay. Doesn't. Give me an example. So, what'd you give the film? <laughs> uh, yes. I give this film a six. 
It was exactly what I expected. Oh, there, were some, there were some pretty funny moments that I laughed out loud at, <laughs> and some that I went, oh my god! But there were some entertaining did parts, she, for sure. She didn't really do that. I did. That. Oh, God! You get kicked out of theater I'll if you look, do that. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Are you kidding me? The loudest talkers ever at the movies these days. I had a mentally challenged gentleman sit next to me. That was fun. Every time we go to the film, there's a mentally he would just keep that person that He would just keep us. talking. I agree with you, Kat. I give it 6.5 just because, you know, it's part of my life. It's getting 45% around today. Oh, okay. You're going to make her feel self-conscious. She's going to get a breath. Yeah, her ego is like going down the drain, and that's hard. You get a for, breath job for Kay. Yeah, oh Jesus Christ! So please like the video if you like Jay. Thank Encourage you. him to watch some movies. If and play we some get games. 1,500 yeah. likes on this video, I will give away 10 free albums, mm -hmm. and Cat will send you a personalized JPEG. And Surprise! Also, an animated gift of me taking my shirt off. All I can say is my nipples are gray. So what'd you give the film out of nine? I am nine. He's trying to trick you. I got Would you give it the film out of ten? God, I'm sick of you telling me what to do while we work. Exactly, that's bullshit. Oh, I think that pretty much covers it. So, Kat, what what didn't you like about the movie then? Or what did you like? Okay. You um, didn't really say. Yeah, I didn't you jerk. really. You sure you don't want that? <laughs> uh